Today on the bench, we got a defective Unit T power supply. This was bought by Randy over at Tactronics. He picked it up from eBay. It worked for a few days and then quit. Seller gave him a refund and then he donated this to me to uh, dissect and see if we can figure out what's going on. I'll start by plugging it in. Yeah, so this is the newer updated model than what I've been using uh, 30 volt, 5 amp linear power supply. Uh, except this is a four digit model. My older units are just a three digit model. Um, so we have some life here. Uh, we know we got some AC coming in and, and uh, but no voltage. I do notice the constant current light is on, which could mean it thinks the current is turned down all the way. And if it thinks it's turned down all the way, it won't allow voltage. So maybe there's something going on with the current control. Maybe the voltage. I'll just do a quick peek at the output posts here. Set to DC. He yeah, has zilch, so this is agreeing with what this is saying. Let's, uh, let's get the cover off this thing. They did change the inside construction from the older model. I see here they have a dedicated heat sink for the transistors. We're on the older model. It just used the back plate as the heat sink. And uh, I don't know if the front board might be different too. I don't remember what the inside of mine looks like. But uh, I've already back pinned all the transformer connectors and they have a nice label here that uh, lists out what each tap does and there's some small taps and some large taps like the two blue wires here are just six volts to run the display that's good um, here the red and black these are the ac coming in this is coming off of the switch for the 110 volt to 220 and that is correct and then the main power well there's there's another set of smaller leads which are the 18 volts negative, 18 volts positive. That's good, I checked that. And then the main heavy wires here is the main, main workhorse wires. And those are also uh, to spec with what the label says. We know the transformer is good. We know the power coming in is good. It's acting like it has some sort of logic control issue. Uh, from what I can see, uh, it looks okay, but I'm gonna have to take it apart even more um, to see what's going on in there. I tore the front panel down and uh, looked at both both halves of the circuit board looking for like manufacturing defects, maybe a bad solder joint or blown component or bad connection. Everything looked really good. So I put it back together. Now I'm going to see what happens when I feed it power. So I'm going to use my power supply. And uh, so it's turned on and so is my other power supply. And there it's reading voltage. So now it's we know that it can see the posts and read the voltage. Let's see what happens when I turn it up. Now you hear that? You can hear the relays clicking in. So it's switching into the different taps. Um, so that part of it's working too. It's so bizarre because it's so close to wanting to work. I'm noticing this whole time that the constant current voltage LED is not, dang it, it's not shutting off. Ugh. So, uh, I still think it might be some sort of current sensing issue. Let's see if we get my probe in there. Um, so what I'm going to do now, we're going to check the, the main power transistors. Okay, so 19 volts. All right, so right now I have that power supply set to 1.1. So as we can see, the power is making its way all the way back to the transistor. So we know that the connection is good from the transistor to the output post. Um, yeah, so it's just reading what I'm feeding it. Um, let's check the other side of the transistor. So this is the input of the transistor. And... Let me see here, I'm going to get it to switch into the different taps once the voltage settles down. 19 volts. 
So that must be like the bottom. Yeah, that must be the lowest tap. So I'm going to click into the next. So, okay, 19 to 32. And then it should click in again. Yep, 32 to 43. And then 55 is the final tap. So it's switching in to the higher taps as it goes along. Um, it's like everything is working except the transistors are just not being told to go ahead and turn on. And I think it all leads back to the current. For some reason, the current is just stuck in constant current and it's stuck at zero amps. Hmm. Everything seems to lead back to this op amp. This op amp is not only tied into the current limiting trim pots, but it's also tied into the uh, little driver transistor that runs the main power transistors. And there's two identical op amps on here. I don't have any good spares, otherwise I'd just try a new one. But what I'm going to do is just swap these two op amps and see if anything changes. If nothing changes, then I know I'm going in the wrong direction. But if something changes, then we know there is a problem with the op amp. Okay, I finished swapping the two op amps and hooked everything back up. Let's see if anything has changed. Hopefully it doesn't uh, change for the worse. Whoa. It's actually reading voltage. Holy cow, it's actually working. Look at that. I turned it up and it has voltage. It's not stuck on constant current anymore. Holy crap, that's all it was, is just that op amp. Um, so now the other op amp position has a defective op amp, so what's gonna be affected? I'm gonna see if the current works. I'm just gonna shard out the current and see if anything happens. Um, hmm. 5 amps, yeah. Holy cow, it's fully operational with a bad op amp in one position. I guess maybe it has a channel that just wasn't using. Hmm. Well, I guess a smart thing to do would just be to, to be put in two new op amps. Um, I probably won't do that, but that would be the smart thing to do. Holy cow, it actually works. Wow. So thanks for coming along on this quick journey of replacing a LM1458 op amp in a Unity power supply. Now with my own personal power supplies, um, I've had these for probably four or five years now and I've got nothing bad to say about the Unity uh, brand or the Unity power supply. Those have been working well for me. Also my meter too is a Unity which is also about the same age and uh, in my opinion uh, Unity is kind of like the uh, name brand of Chinese products and uh, I don't know. So far, uh, I can't complain. Also, special thanks to Randy at Tactronics for thinking of me uh, to donate this to. I'm happy I got it. I'm happy I got it fixed. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.